Hello friends, welcome. Let's look at this problem. P is a point between two parallel lines AB and CD such that A and C lie on the same side of the line perpendicular to the parallel lines and passing through P. If angle PAB equal to 40 degrees and angle PCD equal to 60 degrees, then what is angle APC? So to understand this, let's try to draw the figure. P is a point between two parallel lines A, B, C, D. So first let me draw the two parallel lines. This is my first parallel line and this is my second parallel line. So these two lines are parallel to each other and we have here A and we have B, we have C and we have D. Now we have been told that P is a point between two parallel lines A, B, C, D such that A and C lie on the same side of the line perpendicular to the parallel lines. There is a line which is perpendicular to the parallel lines in such a way that it is having A and C on the same side and also it is passing through P. So how the diagram will look like? I have a perpendicular line that means this angle is 90 degrees we are okay with that and we also know that that perpendicular line passes through point P let us say that is point P then we have been told that angle PAB equal to 40 degrees so let's draw that join P to A and also join P to C. Let us say this is our C. Okay, fine. So what we have to find out now? Angle APC. We have to find out angle APC. This is a pretty straightforward ninth class problem. We have been given angle PAB equal to 40 degrees and angle, let me just write that a little bit clear. We have been given angle PAB equal to 40 degrees and we have been given angle PCD equal to 60 degrees. Now what is the better way to solve this? You can actually go with each triangle and find out the remaining angle then you can put linear pair straight line angle is 180 you can find out x value we are interested in x value otherwise what you can do you just put a another line passing through P parallel to those two then by alternate interior angles you know the part of X here is 40 degrees and the part on the other side is 60 degrees so the total angle will be nothing but 40 degrees plus 60 degrees that's equal to 100 degrees this is straightforward NCRT textbook type of problem only the thing we have to understand the diagram clearly so what we have been given P is a point between two parallel lines A, B, C, D such that A and C lie on the same side of a line perpendicular to the parallel lines and passing through point P. We have been given angle PAB, we have been given angle PCD, we have to find out angle APC. What I can do? I can draw another line passing through P parallel to AB or parallel to CD. All three lines are parallel to each other. Now alternate interior angles are equal. So angle AP, let us say this Y, angle APY equal to 40 degrees plus angle CPY equal to 60 degrees but they are equal to 40 degrees and 60 degrees by alternate interior angles so angle APY is 40 angle CPY is 60 angle APC equal to we have to club them up that's equal to 40 plus 60 equal to 100 degrees